Now I didn't expect this riding with a Harley Owners Group chapter. I've got him good now. So I tagged along with a local Harley Owners Group chapter. I went along for their four day Alpine ride and I really didn't expect this to happen. So the three things I learned, I covered the first point in last week's video called what's it like riding with a local Harley owners group. So the ride left Melbourne on Thursday morning. We traveled to the beautiful country town of Bright. That was gonna be the base for the upcoming rides. Dan Hong! <laughs> Straight to points number two and three. Hi, my name's Eamon, welcome to the channel. You can find me at the website oldnotdead.club where you can grab some great supporter gear like this t-shirt, Old Not Dead. Also make sure you support our supporters because they keep the channel going. Rick Rack are offering a 10% discount to Old Not Dead viewers. Use the code OND10. Now if you live in Australia, New Zealand or the UK, you get a $75 discount on shipping when you buy one of their luggage combo packs and you get a free gift. Awesome offer, awesome gear. And one of the good things about this Rick Rack bag is you can put absolutely everything in it, which is what we've done. Easy. How easy is that? Let's put a lock on for a bit of extra security. Beautiful. That's not going anywhere. Number two is they're hardcore riders. In this group, there are a lot of motorcycle enthusiasts and hardcore riders that do an enormous number of kilometers every year. And that means they're not just going down the local shop for a coffee, it means they're doing big trips with big kilometers all the time. Now, some of them have got multiple bikes, but on this trip, most people had a touring bike of some type. And I'll tell you what, some of them can throw those big touring bikes around the twisties like they're little toys. Hardcore. Now you could say the trip was actually four different rides. There was the organized trip up there on the first day, which I spoke about before. Day two was an easy ride, a loop of the area to some waterfalls and a historic local town that was about 100 kilometers away from our base. Very enjoyable ride at a good pace with TJ leading the pack. Saturday morning, we're off for a short ride today, only about three or four hours. It's going to be really hot, over 30 degrees. So Blake's always hanging on me for some reason. I've got him good now. Blake, what do you reckon about riding with Danny Nong Hog? Tell us the story you told us before, because today we're going on a lovely ride with TJ, who's Hello. leading the ride. And Blake's got an interesting story. Eric says to me one day, you're coming on a ride, and we're going with the uh, Dan Hog group. I said to him, um, I'm not, yeah, I don't want to go riding with old people and like, it's probably going to be a real slow ride. No, but what bike did you take? I bought my hardtail bobber. <laughs> 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 so yeah, I rock up to Dandenong and um, there's this lady that's leading the group and I said, oh, this will be easy. That'll be TJ. Uh, <laughs> yep, and uh, I thought I'll keep up with these old guys. <laughs> this will be easy. We started riding and these guys, I couldn't catch them. <laughs> <laughs> and um, a two hour ride turned into like a four hour ride. I finally get to the caravan park, and everyone's in like full drinking alcohol. I just want to go back to the bushes and die. <laughs> <laughs> so Blake's got a touring bike now. <laughs> now I have a touring bike, yeah. When I tell you, know you, throw a tantrum. You're never satisfied with what you have Every day's an off day If you don't get your way Scream more, more, more Until your throat gets sore Jump on the direct express Let's make it right Don't be a spook brat, baby Get out tonight 
Check out the Woolshed Falls, looks absolutely sensational. All right, you just got to jump, Sonia. Oh, oh. ow! <laughs> It's a good spot, isn't it? Stopped the bikes on the way back and we've gone picking. Check this out. I want you more than my name. I want to float on Too many people in a double garage. Eric the picker. Dreams, <laughs> yeah. I'd kill to oh, feel yeah, it all oh, shake you like a twisted mind game. I'll be burned by your flame. Any Aston Martin? Ups and downs, no in between. Fire and ice, burn gasoline. You know I love it. You know I love it. Love and you hate, romantic what? sin. Fire and ice, gone with the wind. You know I love it. President. My wife's in the background laughing at me. <laughs> she knows I'm bored. <laughs> Look where they've taken me. Don't break my heart, just break free. Just let me see your bad streaks. Maybe they'll match my freaks, yeah. I'd kill to see the stars cry. This guy's in serious trouble here. We're in a woke world, and he has got this on the side of his tow truck. Now, those of you who've got touring bikes, this is why we have saddlebags. So we can wear our Australian hat. If you need sunscreen, right? You can always uh, pull on the tube. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can see this paint on camera. Check this out. Hard ride on day three, which was the Alpine loop through some spectacular scenery. I think it was about 260 kilometers on a very hot day. It was a hard ride because it was mainly back to back corners all day long both tight, narrow corners and long, fast sweepers through the mountains. It took every ounce of my energy and concentration to stay with the lead pack of bikes all day. But even though it was a hard ride, it was probably one of the most enjoyable, one of the most pleasurable rides I've ever done. Now, if I was riding alone, there's no way I could keep that pace up all day. I'd probably do that pace in five or 10 minute spurts and then I'd get lazy and I would cruise. Now it's obviously way easier to follow than it is to set the pace yourself. So I've got to give a big thanks and full credit to Wes the road captain. He set a cracking pace all day and made the ride spectacular.
guys just stay on the beach. Yeah, that was absolutely awesome, and Wes did a fantastic job. It was a great pace. It was just fantastic fun. Yeah, some awesome roads, Eamon, and you know, nice twisties, and everyone enjoys it. Great weather. Yeah, beautiful. Awesome. Blake, your bike's awesome. <laughs> hey, your bike's uh... <laughs> well, actually, uh, I actually enjoyed it. This is the absolute perfect spot to stop for lunch. We're at the top of Mount Beauty, what an awesome ride. Pretty good pace, fast, fast, fast at the front. But I was a bit worried that this was gonna be like four days of slow riding, but Wes is doing a fantastic job and it's a cracking pace if you get up the front, really good. Check out the view, check it out. What do you reckon, Blake? Unreal, mate. Unreal. You're stuffed, aren't you? Now, number three, they are a friendly, welcoming bunch of people. It's a family oriented group with a lot of camaraderie. I wouldn't consider myself a very social person. I'm usually pretty reserved, a bit of a loner. Everyone I had a chance to speak to was fantastic very welcoming and friendly, and I really enjoyed being social for four days. So I've got to give a big thank you to all the Dan Hogg members who welcomed me into the group. Check this out, we're going out to dinner. We've come across these lovely young ladies who have locked themselves out of the car, and Eric, wearing his car Hawaiian shirt, it's a car shirt, but he thinks it's a Hawaiian shirt. He's gonna save them, look at this, check this out. Man of action, superhero. Look at the, oh, he's got it in, look at this, look at this. Right, we're going to better angle. Look at the facial expressions on the guys. Look at this. It's about two hours later, and we're still here at the side of the road. <laughs> and Blake's taken over, and it looks like he is the front runner to be the super. Oh, look, they've got the back open. Hang on. Look at this, look at this, look at this, it's working. Eric has Eric and Nick, yes, champions. Look at this. Oh, okay. Woo! Oh, oh, save the day. Thank you for that. Have a great night, guys. Thank you. Now that Eric's burnt all my calories, I'm starving. This is going to be a nice dinner, some beautiful homemade Italian food. This is Eric's mate's restaurant. My favourite dish in the world, the gnocchi siciliano, olives, capers, salami, 
fresh homemade pasta, pasta, yum, <laughs> grazie, grazie, pochi per i mari, eccola qua, <laughs> un po' di parmigiano, <laughs> that's the treatment you get, <laughs> as Nick pointed out, what are these? See this stuff here? This is the hottest chili. I'll go out myself, it will burn your full off. Why are you fucking giving it to me for? Hey, 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 you want a chili? Hey! Now, this is how popular the old Not Dead channel is getting. Say that one more time. What do you want me to say? I love Eamon. I love Enrique. Oh, Enrique. And, and you know what? Huh? He's welcome anytime. Oh. Hang on, who brought him here? Day four was the ride home, every man for himself. I rode back with Blake, which means blistering pace on a blistering hot day. Of course, we made it back with no problems, just a bit of a tan. So to me, the weekend highlighted how much fun socializing can be how much fun you can have being a member of a group it's also a harsh reminder not to have preconceived ideas because going into this ride thought it was going to be slow riding every day which it wasn't but even the slower times during the rides which have to happen sometimes were actually faster than i expected them to be so all of it was great and it's a good wake-up call it makes me look at how often i judge things before even trying them. How many people or situations have I rejected or excluded because of my conditioning or preconceived ideas? That's what we do. We put people and situations into categories, into boxes, give them labels. And sometimes the labeling shuts them out from our experience. I'll link a video here somewhere if you wanna know more about that topic. Don't forget to check out the website, oldnotdead.club, our Facebook group, Instagram, like, comment and subscribe, it helps the channel and it's free. Stay safe.